Hey, it's Dr. Boyd the Chemist, and today we're gonna do the very popular elephant toothpaste demonstration. So here's what you'll need. For this experiment, we're gonna use 3% hydrogen peroxide. We'll need some food coloring, just for fun. Dish soap, dry yeast, a little bit of warm water, a container to run the reaction in, and I have here a bowl that I'm gonna set this container in so that nothing spills. And finally, you're gonna need something to stir with. So what's gonna happen in this reaction, you ask? Well, we're actually gonna be forming some gas, and the gas will be trapped inside the foam that's created from the detergent. Now, yeast is a single-celled organism, and it's very much associated with the making of bread. It helps the dough rise. But in this reaction, we're actually thinking of it as a catalyst. A catalyst speeds up reaction. And so when we add the yeast, the reaction will go forward really, really fast. Now I've listed 3% peroxide as a component in this reaction. But to be honest, at 3% peroxide, the reaction really won't look that impressive. I'm using 3% peroxide though, because in case you wanna follow along and try this out at home, you can actually purchase 3% peroxide over the counter. It's the kind of peroxide that we typically use on small wounds to help clean them out. Now, to show you what this reaction can really do, I'm gonna do three additional reactions with increasing strengths of hydrogen peroxide. And by the time we get to the last one, it'll look pretty cool. So you'll wanna stick around to check that one out. Lastly, and as always, you wanna be safe when you're doing reactions. And so, make sure you're wearing the proper personal protective equipment. That means in this case, you especially need something to cover up your eyes with. And so, I've got my splash goggles and I'll be wearing these as I run this reaction. I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of dry yeast. with two tablespoons of warm water. I'm gonna stir that up nice and good. Wanna make sure that all the yeast is dissolved in the warm water. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna add one half cup hydrogen peroxide. Notice that the peroxide is being poured into the final reaction container while the yeast solution remains in a separate container. One half teaspoon of detergent. The dish detergent goes in with the peroxide. and a few drops of food coloring. Now it's time for our moment of truth. Add the yeast to the peroxide solution and as soon as you add it to the funnel, move the funnel quickly out of the way. Pretty cool, huh? Looks like ice cream. As promised, I'm repeating the reaction with stronger hydrogen peroxide. I'm starting with 6% peroxide and then repeating with 9% peroxide before finishing with 12% peroxide. After seeing the reaction with stronger peroxides, go back and watch the 3% peroxide again. You should notice that the reaction goes faster as the peroxides get stronger. One thing I learned by doing this reaction several times is that if the container you run the reaction in is level and flat, 
At these peroxide concentrations, the reaction will look more like an elephant ice cream cone or snow cone than elephant toothpaste. But if you tilt the reaction vessel just slightly, the reaction will exit the container and look like toothpaste being squeezed out of a bottle. Finally, the 12% peroxide reaction. Notice how I lined the inside of the reaction container with the food coloring to give it that toothpaste look once the reaction goes forward. And there it is, elephant toothpaste. Now this reaction will go on for a couple of minutes, but once it's over, you may want to wait a few minutes before cleaning it up because it is exothermic, which means it gives off heat.